how to duplicate a page in wordpress easy tutorial hi guys welcome back in this tutorial i'll show you how to duplicate a page on wordpress and then customize it so let's get into it first of all you can open up your wordpress.com and you will get to your website that you are creating this is a website that i am working on and i want to duplicate a page now we duplicate a page for several reasons maybe you want to update that page maybe you want to change few things on that page and create a new page uh, you want to you know keep everything kind of like similar for a new page and you're saving your time to duplicate it maybe you want to create a private duplicate page so it's really easy to duplicate a page that you already have on your wordpress website and then customize it if you want so that's what i will show you today let's get into it uh, first of all what you can do is you will open up your wordpress.com slash dashboard and you will get right here this is my dashboard for my wordpress website you can see in our dashboard this is like our admin this is our admin on wordpress so once you get here you will just have to scroll down a little bit and you will be able to find a lot of different options for your wordpress website uh, we have like post media comments and more and then we have like pages here so we can update our pages add a new page or duplicate a page through this option so i'm going to click on pages and it will open up the pages that i have on my website this is a test website that i have and it has only one page right now which is the home page so in order to duplicate a page what i can do is i can either go ahead and create a brand new page first and then duplicate it or i can duplicate the page that i already have in order to duplicate a page all you need to do is you can see the page here it your website if it has more than one page you will see a list here select the page you want to duplicate then you will click on these three dots click on the three dots and it will open up a drop down for you which says edit view page stats and copy page now copy page means duplicating if i click on copy page it will copy the page for me and create a similar new page for my wordpress website which is known as duplicating a page all right so you can see this is my copy page for my home page like there was a home page that i already had and this is the copy of that page this is a duplicate of that page that's how easy it is to create a duplicate on wordpress so we have created a duplicate now and of course it's going to be if you're thinking that you cannot customize that page for example if you have uploaded images if you have uploaded the text on a page and if you duplicate it you won't be able to customize it well that's not the case it copies the page it gives you all of the options like if i click on the plus right here it will allow me to add the blocks i want to add it will allow me to add um different patterns it will allow me to change the page settings everything so don't worry about it let's actually customize this page a little bit here uh you can see we have a button we have text going on so we can customize it now this is not a home page first of all so i'm going to change the name to let's say i wanted to create a product page but i wanted to go for like a similar uh, layout so we have product page for instance we have our banner similar which we had for our home page this is the duplicate page that i have then i can customize the text of course so what i'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this text here or we can change the alignment a little bit if we want to you can see i will customize the text on this page we can customize the images as well and it has buttons we can customize the buttons too and click on this plus right here and you will be able to add blocks such as paragraphs headings gallery image audio buttons separators spacers widgets such as calendars uh, we have rss feed social icons in theme if you want to change the theme of your page what you can do is you can also do that uh, then we have some of the embeds available for youtube twitter and other things so on wordpress we get a lot of options so you can see from here i will just add different widgets right here on my page and customize it completely and once i customize it it will help me save time that's why we uh, duplicate or we customize a page most of the time uh, for me personally i duplicate a page and then it saves me a lot of time if i'm looking for the, the same layout 
uh, or we can create a private page like that. Once you're done with this, you're going to click on save and your page will be saved. So I have, uh, you know, saved this page. Let me actually take you back to our dashboard and we will be able to see the pages that we have. So even if I click right here, it'll show me the recent pages. We have a home page and then we have like a product page. You can see right here. This is a product page, which is a duplicate page of this one. Even if I take you back to the dashboard, now you will see it will have two pages. So you can see I have a published one and a draft. I created a draft page, uh, but what you can do is you can, of course, you can publish a page as well. Um, all you need to do is just click on publish while you are editing. You can see here it has preview and publish option. So you're going to click on publish. Uh, for the purpose of the video, I just kept it as a draft. So now you can see I have two pages and they are duplicate of one another but I customized it. If you do not want to customize it and you want to just duplicate the page, everything, then again, you're going to click on the three dots, click on copy page and a new page will be created. If you want to add a new page to your WordPress website, click on add new page option and it will allow you to do so and it will take you to your website to do all of the settings for the page. Of course, it will be a blank page. Keep that in mind because you're not duplicating a page now, you're creating a new page. So we have some of the options here. We have like featured, about, um, gallery, we have something like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one about me page and it will be added right here. So now this is our page about me page created. I'm going to click on publish and this is going to be like a published page for my website. So I have created a brand new page. If I take you back now, my website will have two published pages, home and about me. And then I can duplicate it by just clicking on these three dots. And then you can click on copy page and you will be able to duplicate or copy your page on WordPress. Similarly, if you click on these three dots, you can also copy the link for your page. If you like, you can click on edit and you can even delete a page. So if you want to delete a page that you created, for instance, I created this page. This is a duplicate page. If I click on these three dots, it has a trash option. I'm going to click on trash and the page will be deleted. You can see right here. This is how we delete a page. So I showed you how to duplicate a page on WordPress, how to add a new page on WordPress and how to customize a page and even delete it. So it was like a very quick tutorial for you guys to help you with the page setting on WordPress. Just go to your WordPress dashboard and then you're going to go to pages. In pages, you can create, edit and manage the pages on your website. To duplicate again, select the page, click on three dots, click on copy and your page will be duplicated. And now you will have more than one pages you can create and customize the pages to create a professional website for your business. This brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.